Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Exquisite Beauty MUA and my name is Jen. And today we are going to be doing our Boxy Charm for the month. And let's get started. For this month's theme, it's called Breaking the Ice. And of course, this is a little card that we get that brings the theme, all the products that we're going to be using, what they do and how much they retail for. So let's get started. The first thing that I do want to mention is this one. This is the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating truffle face gommage and it says it's made in Italy I love this because on the back of it it tells you gluten free everything that it's free of vegan cruelty free and let me just show you the consistency of this I don't want to use too much because I actually used it this morning for the first time do you see that it's a very creamy consistency as you can see it had little exfoliating properties to it it smells so good I don't even know what it smells like but it smells really good <laughs> and on here it says it reads Retails for $28. The Truffle Face Gommage is a lush formula combining the best of the iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury Italian spa experience. The Truffle Face Gommage features sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and our unique exclusive black winter truffle extract, which has a high concentration of super oxide by mutase, a powerful free radical scavenger that reduces the sign of aging. Usually when you exfoliate, it's about two to three times a week you don't want to use this every day but it is to get rid of any dead skin cells that you have on your face I really like that and I can't wait to keep using this and the next one that I want to mention is going to be this one this is the glow recipe water glow sleeping mask and the little pamphlet that we got inside tells us that this is a Korean skincare technology and fruit that is natural covetable textures and innovative formulas maximize results to deliver glowing youthful and radiant skin and this is interesting interesting because I've never seen these directions in a mask pour but it says to keep the formula ultra silky and at its best take a moment to shake the formula up before each use. Now it gives us two different directions. The first one if you want to use it as a sleeping mask then you use it in your final step of your evening routine. For drier skin types add an additional layer if desired, pat gently until absorbed and wash thoroughly in the morning. Now if you want to use it as a wash off mask apply a thick generous layer to damp skin then you rinse with lukewarm water after 10 minutes. I was gonna use this last night and I completely forgot. I was really tired. Mm, it literally smells like watermelon. Oh my god. It smells so good. Now the only thing that I found interesting in this product getting it this month was that this one is only a fluid ounce. And usually with BoxyCharm you get a full size product so this one is a little bit confused about because this is the first time we actually receive something that's small but I don't know. This looks like a travel size to me or I don't know if maybe this is the size that retails at the stores. And the little pamphlet it does say that it retails for $22 and I'm sure that this is a travel size item. The next product that I do want to use is going to be this one. This is the Ace Butte Scarlet Dusk Eyeshadow palette and this one has 12 colors in it let me just show you because I've already opened it up and I have received Ace Butte before from BoxyCharm this one is the Grandiose palette this is the previous one and I absolutely love it as you can tell it's pretty used up <laughs> And you could tell I love that color clove right there. I love them. They're very pigmented, very buttery. And I'm excited to see how this one's going to work. And this is the palette right here. That packaging is so beautiful. It has that rose gold with a dark blue. And let me just open this up for you and show you how stunning those colors are right there. A lot of warms and pinks. They are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to start using this. And let me go ahead and swatch some colors. That way I can show you what it looks like. Alright, so these are the shades right there. They look absolutely stunning. Starting off over here at the end, this one's called Sunset Rose. This one is called Crimson. Shade, these are all very orangey and warm tones. This is more of a corally color. It looks absolutely stunning. And this one right here, it's called Nocturnal. It is a little bit of a darker maroon color. This one right here is called Aruba. It's a beautiful shimmery color. It was a little bit chunky on the top, but as you blend it 
out and maybe not pick up so much it shouldn't be too bad this next one right here is called hibiscus that is absolutely stunning that one's another like shimmery metallic color this is a mauve tone this one's called lotus it is a little bit on the sheer side this next one right here is called bahamas a beautiful pinkish matte color this next one is called maui this one right here is called pink moon this one is called aurora and this one is called sangria let's go ahead and get started Alright guys, so those are the eyes so far and the Ace and Butte Scarlet Dusk Palette does retail for $34.99. I absolutely love the colors and you know I'm all about warm tones. This is very, very beautiful. I absolutely love the way that they turned out. The black eyeliner just kind of makes it all fit in very beautifully together. But if you don't do the black eyeliner, it does look beautiful on its own. It's just what I wanted to do on my look today. And the next product that I do want to mention 
one is going to be this one. This is a pretty vulgar concealer and the color that they did send me is going to be called Undercover 63 The Middle Ground. And I'm thinking that this is going to be a little bit too dark for me. It's not going to be very brightening, but let's take a look at it either way. And this pretty vulgar undercover concealer does retail for $25. It says the lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural flawless finish. Infused with vitamin E, galacto arabinin to keep skin moisturized and rejuvenated and improve the skin's appearance. The angle dough foot applicator is easy to use and precisely applies the velvety formula to visibly brighten the complexion and cover dark circles. This is blendable, long-wearing concealer is great for all skin types. So let's see. And this is how the dupe looks like. So let's just apply that and see how it looks. I'm gonna do one side at a time. It does feel very watery and creamy. And I'm using my Real Techniques sponge to blend this out and on the end of it I did end up putting a little bit of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist just so I didn't have to get up and go wet it. But this feels very very watery and creamy, more watery than anything which I feel like is going to be a little bit better for the under eyes. That way it's not very drying. Especially for me, which I have very fine lines under my eyes. It's very annoying because most of the concealers that I do put on there eventually get cakey and I don't like it. And as my base, I did use Pretty Face Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. You definitely do have to build this up, but just the fact that it's very, very hydrating. Not like most brands say about concealer that yeah, it's very hydrating, but for people who have very, very fine lines under their eyes, this is a major issue. I love the consistency of this so far. I'm just hoping that it's not too slippery and it ends up coming off. And let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back so we can finish the last product. All right, everyone, here is the face so far. And last but not least, the last product that I do want to mention is going to be this one. Now, this one is, I believe it's called Queen. Queen? 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 I'm not sure. I've actually never heard of this brand before. This one is a liquid lipstick. And Queen is cruelty free. I love how companies nowadays do have the logo that they are cruelty free and makes it a whole lot easier to distinguish whether they are or not. And this liquid lipstick is called in the color Thick Skin. That's the packaging right there. It's very cute. The color looks very promising as well. It doesn't smell too crazy. Let me go ahead and apply this and see how it looks. And here is the color finished up. I really love how it looks. It's almost like a orangey nude color and it was very easy to apply, very pigmented. The Queen Studio Matte Liquid Lip Stain retails for $17 and it says if you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip stain is your superhero. Our extremely pigmented formula gives you a true matte finish in one coat with the 12 hour performance. Let's see about that. Right now it's about 1.10 in the afternoon. We'll see how long it lasts. Alright guys, and here is the finished look. I've got to say I was a little skeptical about this month's box, but once I started using the products, I definitely felt a little bit better. And I really loved the Ace Imbued Eyeshadow Palette. It's a very, very pretty. I love those vibrant orangey colors. Usually I like warm tones, but they're a little bit on neutral side. These are more vibrant, and I really, really like that. And this month's BoxyCharm retailed for 
$126.99 and I only paid about $26.75 with tax which is an absolute steal. I've got to always go through my drawers and see what I'm like liking, not liking so that way my drawers don't get stuffed because if not I'm going to have to end up getting more storage and there's just no space for that. 2020 is all about organization and trying to keep everything nice and simple. <laughs> And yeah guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to join us. Just hit that little red box down below. And remember, always be grateful, always be thankful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!